Hello again, I've got my amplifier apart again. I've got another job to do on it. I've ordered, ordered in some new Coda D92F speakers and they've got um, separate bass, mid and um, top end um, connections at the back. So the, the sub on them is, um, so basically they buy wired. So what I'm going to do with my amplifier is um, change it from series output to uh, parallel. But the thing is, the audio output board here is right next to live mains, so I've got to be so damn careful when I'm doing this. That's the mains power switch there, it's 250 volts there. And all these pins are all the output wires that go to the speakers. And this is the A and B speaker select switches. Um, at the moment what's happening is, when you press A, it works. When you press B, it works. When you press A and B together, because they're wired in series, they both go off. So what I'm going to do is make it so the B switch is going to be for the sub on the speakers, then the A switch is going to be for the mid and treble. So I'm tracing this wire back here, straight back to these jacks at the back. I've already took this. Um, this is orange wire off the B speaker terminal. I've took this off. That went down this chute into the um, distribution board there. So what I'm going to do is uh, make a switchable ground basically for the B speaker set. So when I press the B speaker it, it switches the ground on here and makes a contact. So I've got to take this yellow wire off. And um, I've already, it's already been converted to um, banana plugs because it used to have them horrible terminals in, you know, the spring loaded ones. Absolutely horrible they are. Yeah, this is the back of the speaker output board. And as I say, each one of them switches, um, switches either one of these on, but not together. They both cancel each other out for some reason. So, what I'm going to do, there's an unused, uh, there's two unused pins on the B socket, the B switch socket. Socket switch, sorry. There's two unused pins there. These last two. So I'm going to wire them two up. Two black wires going to the ground on the uh, B socket. So that then I'll switch them two sockets off and on separately. Independent of that one. But if you switch A off, B will go off as well, which is what I want, so I can use headphones. Okay. Basically, the way this is working is, I don't know if you can see that, because of the light, but there's four input wires there, coming from the main board. And they the speaker power wires. And these two resistors here are dropping the, um, the current down for the headphone socket. So, speaker in, and all these here are speaker output to the back panel. Now these eight wires, so obviously there, there's four for each each terminal. So you'll have two grounds. And one of them grounds is going to be cut and switched to this switch on the back two pins. So hopefully by Wednesday I should have the rest of my capacitors with me so I can get them put in as well. There's two large filter caps there, two 63 volters that need to be put in because they were running a bit out of spec so I've changed them. All the rest of this board apart from these two and them two transistors, all the rest of these resistors here and um, diodes have all been replaced, the whole board has. So it should sound pretty amazing. Looks like that spaghetti wire there. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Something else I'm going to do as well on this back panel. Let's see if we can get the light over here so we can see a bit better. On this back panel, the bottom one there, I can't, I've only got two hands, <laughs> but the bottom one with the blue wire going into it, that's a switch socket. I'm going to change that to a three pin kettle type so I can plug um, my CD player straight into it because it's got these really strange old fashioned sockets on that I can't find a plug for. Yeah, three pin type. 
I think it's a dummy earth. Yeah, it is. I think the earth pin just opens the two power ones up to make a connection. But anyway, the bottom one, I'm going to put a kettle type um, socket on there so I can you know, plug my uh, other separates in. And that's switched, so we're going to switch the front off, they'll go off as well. These are the two pins I'm going to be working with. Pins 7 and 8 on the end of the board there. As you can see, if I can get that hold in place, I need some clip on test leads, I need to get some of them. Um, let's see if I can get this steady. So this is a B switch now, and if I press that on, we've got a connection. So basically them two, as I say, them two pins, and they're going to have two wires coming out and switching both the grounds off on the channel B, on the B selector here. Now I've seen my speakers when this conversion has been done. It'll be four ohm, so I'm going to have to fit a fan in there as well, keep it cool because I'm putting more stress on the amp, you see. That's, that's why the... Um, they Sony decided to do this in series in the first place because they're putting stress on the amp. So you have to put, fit a slim 80mm fan in there and connect it to 12 volts somewhere. But after that's done, it'll be, it'll be rock solid. As I say, I've changed every one of the parts apart from the two main filters on this uh, power board here. So it should sound pretty good. All the faults this amp had were all on this board. I put each ring tubing over them pin terminals as well. Make sure they don't short out. It's a good idea if you work on one of these amps. Just to be sure, just to make sure, put some each ring tubing on the pins. With the twist. See the, the twist, they're not soldered as such, they're twisted on with the special tool at the, at the factory. But uh, Sometimes, you know, if you're unlucky, you can short the pins out and blow the amp. So, that, you know, that's a good precaution tip there. So, basically, the way this is going to work when it's finished is, when you press A in, the speakers will come on. On that terminal, them two terminals. When you press B, them two terminals will come on. But if you switch A off, B will go off as well, because they joined here. On the common on each side which is good so they'll both go off then so if you want to use headphones you haven't got to have your speakers on okay this is just a, that was just a quick update anyway what I'm doing with this amp when it's all completed and finished and my speakers are set up I'll post another video okay thanks for watching